Hello and welcome! So, last time we made the editor window, so now we are going to make the graph view. Let's open that up and just remove everything inside and make this into a graph view. And then add the, the reference. There we go, beautiful. So let's see, what should we add for it? Hmm. Let's just actually add so we have a reference for the style sheet in the top. I think I'm actually gonna do that. Style sheet's name equals. Just to make sure that I don't uh, I don't spell it cr wrong. It's gonna copy its name. Then we need a uh, uh, then we need a reference for the dialog editor. So dialog editor window. Just gonna call that editor window. Next up we need a, a public uh, constructor. Oh no 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 no. The graph view. There we go. So uh, and that should take a uh, dialog editor. So we're just gonna copy this one in here. And I prefer to have a underscore in front of every parameter. That's just uh, what I like. So it's up to you if you want to do the same. Now we need to tell it that we want to save that uh, the dialog editor we are getting. So we save it inside our graph view. Uh, you know, let's just add the style in the beginning as well. So we are going to add style sheet, and then we need to add the reference. As you can see, the reference we're using are uh, right here and uh, right here. All right, so I'm just gonna call it style sheet, but I'm gonna call it TMP style sheet, which stands for temporary. Oh, and then we need to get our resource folder if I could spell it correctly that would really much help resource dirt load ah it's lovely with random mails popping up probably means game mails so and that's even more lovely all right so let's add the start sheet can I spell for all right I did it all right Alright. <laughs> Alright. So there we go. So now it's loading the start sheet and now we just need to add it to the style sheet. In graph view you actually just type style sheet dot add. And that's how you add it in here in uh, in graph view. Prodonkey and it is should now be loading. Good. Alright, so next up we need to make uh, the different functions, the graph view. So let's start by having the the zoom. I think it's gone. Let's just tap zoom. Yeah, set up zoom. Uh, and set up zoom takes in two variables: the maximum scaling and the minimum scaling. So first, I can see we need to do the minimum scaling. Luckily for us. Uh, Unity graph you already have a setting that we can borrow called uh, content uh, content zoomer and we just put in minimum and that's completely the same over here but for a lot for maximum so now we're telling it we can you know, zoom in uh, maximum zoom and minimum zoom Next up, you need to actually type this dot at yeah, I can't say that correctly, so just gonna pretend that I said it correctly. And in here, we're going to add a new function that we want our uh, graph view to be able to. So we want to be able to drag the content inside. So we add a content dragger. And I know specifically that there are four more that I want to do. So I want also to be able to select them. So we're gonna do a select drag, meaning when I select, I can actually select the thing I'm, I've collected. 
And then we also want to be able to make a rectangle selector, meaning that you can hold down your mouse like this and uh, select things. And we also want a freehand selector. At least those are the ones that I found that I like to have. And uh, let's add a grid background. Normally there's always a, a grid back background. So we're gonna go grid background. Just gonna call it uh, grid equals new grid background. And then we're gonna insert this uh, grid background. We're just gonna set it as a uh, index zero. And then we're gonna add the uh, grid. And afterwards, we are simply going to say stretch it to the parent, meaning uh, no matter how big uh, we make our window for our graph here, it will it will scale up to be just as big. All right. So this should be should be it for now, at least. Let's see. Do we need anything else? Yeah, we need uh, the style sheet. Well, we probably also need to add it in the editor window. That'd probably be a good idea. Let me just fast check my notes. I'm sorry about that. Let me see. We're doing that there, all right. So we're going into our dialog editor window. And in here, we have our dialog uh, graph view that we haven't done anything with yet. So now we're gonna go down on in Apple. Uh, we're here. We are uh, added. Let's just make sure we actually call it. There we go. <laughs> now we're gonna add the graph view. So we're gonna say, oh, graph view equals new graph view, and uh, it takes in the editor. So we just say. Uh, this, so when it knows what to do, and then we're going to say where if you dot stretch to parent, meaning it's going to stretch to our um, graph or to our editor window. And next up, we are simply going to add it into our editor window. So, review. Alrighty. However, we also wanted to remove this from the editor window whenever we are actually closing it. Or else it sometimes I think it will add even more graph views to our editor window, which in the end will end up looking really weird. So so when we close down the window we are also telling it to close down graph view. So that sh that should uh should work lovely. Alrighty. Actually, if you also want to call load here, so let's just uh, have it call load. So when we actually open it, it also enables the loading function. Good. So let's actually go out and see if it works. So let's open up. Of course, it's a little hard to see now, but as you can see, the entire background have now become like a, a blackish version that means that it should work so we are actually going into a style sheet now and um, styling it and i'm again gonna find my notes because this specific one i will not be able to remember this so i'm gonna copy paste it in and here you can see we are telling it it's the graph view background we are t changing the color of the back uh, the back, the grid background. Then we're adding small lines everywhere, and we're telling how thick the line should be and how much space there should be between them. So we're going to save this and go back into. As you can see now, we have a beautiful grid background. Alrighty. So let's see what do we need to actually do next. I'm just gonna check my notes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about this. 
we actually need to go into our editor window. And inside our editor window, we need to actually have a reference to uh, to the language we're using. Because, uh, sorry, I'm checking my notes again. Because we always, uh, we always need to know what language we are on right now. So we're going to go down to language type and simply just add language type. So we are actually also going to tell it that we will always want it to start on English. Uh, you can just change that if you don't want it to start on English. Then we will right click here and add to quick action and add a, um, a prop, uh, no, oh, I think it's property, yeah, property that reference the field. Um, we also want it to be able to change. Um, the language, so we're just gonna leave it at uh, at public and uh, yes. So I'm think I'm gonna end the video here, and uh, next video we will start to add more stuff.